Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Korea. We're continuing our Turtles All the Way Down game. It's really weird that it's saving multiple copies of this backup at different dates. Just adding a backup, a backup, and more of them. That's really weird. I, I think we actually could save Scum and go back to previous ones if we really wanted to. And no reason to do that. We're not doing anything super challenging. Uh, we didn't get too many videos up over the weekend. Uh, sorry about that. There was Mother's Day, a holiday here in the U.S., so that was one thing that uh, disrupted my plans. But hopefully we'll have a lot of them, at least five per day, going up this week. So where we last left off in-game, we were attacking Tyrone. Nope, not going to do that. Um, but it does let us keep an eye on what's going on here. We need some more Theravadin Buddhists. Let's take a look at where our options are for picking them up. And I'm not seeing them. So we got Hindus here. <laughs> where are their Theravadins? Hatuala, so that's actually up here. That's this province. So we could pick up some in Indochina. And there are some nations here that don't like us too much, so we could potentially go for that if we wanted to. Okay, what's our current situation? Ming is hostile towards us while well, domineering. Um, but I don't think they're going to truce break or anything like that. Our situation is we were invading Tyrone, trying to beat up on France and get this territory back. France's army performed pathetically in our last engagement, which is really good for us. The uh, biggest problem is going to be logistics of trying to get enough war score down here while potentially landing some troops in Tyrone to suppress down their war enthusiasm. We might have to capture their capital. Hey, the other matter that I should discuss is I did look into the question of absolutism. So you note that our maximum was a hundred and if we had a few more months we could have gotten the achievement just by getting it up but our golden age ended so that dropped it down by five the other five was because we switched governments from despotic monarchy so this does give you five absolutism and it tells you that feudal monarchy and constitutional monarchy give you it but they don't so despotic monarchy gives it, the others do not. That is the only one that we're, it's available to us, the only type of monarchy that gives maximum absolutism. However, once we get to rights of man here, at 29 for admin tech, then that will increase our absolutism, maximum absolutism by 10. So you can see them listed here twice. There's maximum absolutism plus 10, and then there's one for our government rank, which is plus 5. So that's what you gotta keep an eye on, is that it appears twice. So you can see the plus 5, that's for our rank, but the government form drops down 30. This one gives just plus 5, which is for our rank. This one gives Absolutism plus 5, Absolutism plus 5. So, we could get up to 95 right now, but that's not going to help us as Korea reach 100. Now, France has something that gives them a chance of getting higher. They've got a decision. There's also a disaster for us. It's court and country. That if your absolutism is high enough, you could have a struggle for control of the country. 
And if you win that, then your maximum absolutism goes up quite a bit. You can see that drops while you're in the struggle, but I think it increases by 20. So that could be a huge bump. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to bend the knee to Ming next time we're out of this war. And that will let us do stuff like conquer their tributaries, possibly Khmer or something. Pick up for um, Tangu. Uh, haven't really decided. We'll have to take a look and get some more Theravathans. I don't really care too much about that. I, I don't want to be fighting against Ming constantly because that will cause us devastation up here when I want to have prosperity. So that would that war would make us proud but it would get in the way of potential achievements and that's why we're here. So without further ado we're going to carry on and see what we can accomplish in this war. Go straight for the fort. It's a mountain fort. Right now our troops are quite good, and I think the French are in disarray. We stack wiped a couple of France's real armies that didn't perform very well. And their colonial subjects will perform even worse, I imagine. Unless they have really large numbers. We can take a look. Uh, they probably don't. <laughs> they probably don't. Now let's go for the points here. And just remind ourselves, yeah, we are working on economic ideas. I think we'll probably get this next idea group before we finish off all of our economic ideas. And we should still have enough time to grab this last idea for the lower development cost if we need to force it an institution when the next one comes around. Let's get our fleet down here to blockade the ports. And we needed some new states. And here would be a great place. This is going to feed into our center of trade here. Clergy and nobility, once more land. I'd add this to a trade company rather than it to a state. This is considered to be one of the Indian Ocean Islands, obviously. Why don't we hand this one off to our clergy? Not sure what we want to give to a clergy and nobility. Give this one to our clergy as well. Not producing anything that's really good for our economy. I think we had some provinces up here, so on, that we could hand off for our nobility. I mean, this has got pretty decent manpower. You have to give them something, so. This has got more manpower than it does the other things. That does have fur, so I don't like bringing that down, but I'm, I'm not going to count coppers. We're, we're making that much money. Uh, we could state all that stuff up, but I think this is more of a, more of a priority. This is just going to end up giving us more value out of these provinces, but I really don't care too much about that. Let's see if there's forts that we can upgrade here. No, we already did that. Okay, good. Uh, let's take a look at our buildings, see if there's anything of great value here. Nine plus eight. Now some of these could bring us in some cash. Actually, there's some of these are centers of trade. And I think we do manufactories a thing. 
Yeah, it's already spread. We've already embraced it. We really don't need to put anything else there in this regard. We could spur along the enlightenment when it comes. Get all this yummy Japanese development. Embrace enlightenment as soon as possible. And then I'll have this little area that should be well over 10%. It should grow pretty rapidly. And we already have some down here. Might as well get that one because that's respectable amount of development. And we'll just keep these guys there for the moment. Just for siege building. That's very close. This is the war goal. So I definitely don't like seeing these trips here. I think they will kill those two mercs that we have. Recapture the war goal. But then we're going to drop some trips off down there on our way over. Yeah. Way over to Tyrone. We'll leave one army down over here. Up over here, rather. They burn the colony. And of course, we got forced out of there because we're not at war with Kido. We don't have any military access. And while their troops are in the south, we'll just try to capture yet another fort. I'm just going to repeat this process, go through something controlled by us, liberate this territory. And I'll just make France's day a little worse. Hey, okay, do we get 10? Prestige. Uh, we're suffering a prestige a little bit. But I want that 50 admin. I want the next idea group because we're ahead of time on two kinds of attack here. We need to be unlocking some idea groups. We need offensive, for instance. Uh, this unfortunate, we don't have ticking war score. Either us or them. Oh, we got caught here. I think I'm just going to pull this guy back. He's got better things to do. Do we want to improve relations? Now let's get the plus three guy. We shouldn't have much aggressive expansion. This mountain fort. Yeah, there's their troops. But we outnumber them pretty substantially. Two to one. Unless both those two armies work together. I think the quality of our troops are better. I'm going to stop clicking on that. Just a habit. We do have troops there, and once this colonist is done, I think we are going to bring him over here. Yeah, I don't think you're going to win that. I'm not going to chase them down. I want to eliminate these troops, that way we can start our colony here. Wow, they're performing much better in this engagement than they have been. Yeah, they're... And morale went up. I think part of it was our golden age 
Okay, and they're engaging us navally. That's not going to work out for them. We'll just stay here for the moment. Capture that. Okay, hey, they're moving up onto these forts. They might be able to liberate this fort. Before we can get up there. Nope, they gave up. And okay, we're just going to click Excellent and Seneca here. I don't have too ambitious of goals here. I really just want to take back what's ours. Maybe we'll punish them a little bit if we can. I think we'll have better access here. Can't. Even by forcing us to attack in the mountains, I assume that they wouldn't be able to get these guys over to engage in the battle. Let's keep an eye on our attack. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Then we can core everything. And the annoying alert will go away. This one we are going to take a closer look. What's our mission? Anchor cheese in. In Japan. Okay, we still doing fine here, not suffering any new attrition. Of course, they're repairing while at sea. It's such a nice ability. And it's probably not worth the points in most cases, but it's just one of those quality of life things that when I do have to take it for some reason, I do appreciate it. Okay, so I wrote down the ideas that we need somewhere. I should have that handy when I'm playing. Oh, is this where I did it? Yes, yeah, so we needed offensive and we needed naval. I think I'll take offensive first because it's fun. And I think we'll right away just take an offensive idea. Or two. Right away. And then we'll get our military tech improved. But getting those two ideas was really great because it brought down the cost of our military tech as well. Pretty soon, we'll cap out here so I could develop. I think I'll wait a year or two and just take the tech. I want that advanced CB. We could just spend the 50 points and take that. Let's chase him off, and then we should be able to press on to the next port before they have a chance to do much. They're trying to avoid engagements here, which is probably smart of them. Now that we're ahead of time on admin tech, I'm going to core everything. Yeah, France, I don't think I would try that sort of stuff. Okay, 164 days. I want that ticking war score in our favor. Yeah, I think I'll go for their, their capital next. This is really foolish of them to have stopped right there. Because that's mountains. I'll attack them here despite it being mountains just because 
our army is going to be so much more effective than theirs. Military engineer, no, we don't care about that. Okay, for the rest of the game, an increase to that fort's defensiveness, and we lost this general. So we're going to stop him right here. Forty of each kind of monarch point, that's great. And we're not going to reduce this because it would reduce our absolutism. Okay, so now Ming could attack us at any point, uh, but we still should have I have relations, so they would take a stability hit. No longer have the royal marriage, though. Still don't have that ticking war score, but we will in one week. Let's get over here. Actually, I think I'm going to attack. Ugh. Ruler died again. Wow, their morale went up by. It went by a little too quickly. I think they had a plus morale event. We have to be really careful. But I think we could get our stuff back. Is there anything else that we lost? I don't think so, but we'll just take these two to punish France. And that seems to be perfectly respectable peace deal. I don't really want to be in this war. And we'll leave this army over here. It shouldn't take very long before we get the demand from Ming to become their tributary, unless they're in a war. And we're simply going to agree to America, I Okay, let's take advantage of the fact that we do have a navy over here. Okay, four guys behind. I'm going to get the four replacement guys right up here. We have another free merchant. I think we lost one. So we're just going to replace him. Pushing trade from Canton down to Malacca. Let's go ahead and get that cash. Let's see, how nicely are you asking us? Oh, all right. I think we'll wait till the end of the year, unless we cap out. Sure, we don't care. And this is kind of wasting our time, we don't need that. Now the one thing that we should have done is I should have embargoed France while we're in that war. I think that's in the Philippines. Our attitude towards Ming is rebellious, huh? Think so. Okay, things are looking much nicer down here. 
I do want to kick the monies out of here the rest of the way. I do want to kick Portugal out of here. So I think I'm going to start fabricating on them. Now we might have to develop ones to get rid of some spare points or culturally convert something. Yeah, that's absolutism. Our colony North Korea is a warmonger. Who would have thought? Well, I guess North Korea isn't in history. All fairness isn't that much of a warmonger. They're just highly, highly militarized. Because, you know, they've been in one real war. You can't really call that a warmonger situation. More referring to the fact that they're pretty highly militarized. And let's keep playing our time here. Okay, 26 minutes. We'll keep it going for another few minutes. And by the way, um, somebody had asked if I ever plan on playing any other games. I think it was a random guy from Greece. I mean, that's his username. Um, and if you guys would like me to do a game of Stellaris or Hearts of Iron or something as a, as a second game that I'm running or something like that, as a break, spice things up, just let me know. So I do like other games, just... Really should stick to a theme here. If I'm gonna play EU4 games, I mostly play EU4 games. Let's take a look. Yeah, our inflation is still dropping despite that gold. Now that we've completed so many of the economic ideas, that's great. I'm not really afraid of Portugal. Hey! Okay, so they were killed by Caradel. We might have to deal with them, but we do have troops here. We had in case the worst happened with. Wow. Might be a good idea to invade. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. So the reason why I'm fabricating this is that I can just threaten war over it. Um, and it is best if you're an East Asian nation often to have your war goal over here where you can easily take it and then have some ticking war score. Rather than having your war goal be Lisboa and have to move all the way over there. Uh, we're just going to save up the points here. We're nowhere near our cap. We'll probably use a lot of these for development. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Korea.